Bizla Hungarian or Hungarian pointing dog hunting dog breed, originally from Hungary. The short-haired Bizla is one of the oldest European breeds, while the wire-haired is one of the youngest. He is a born hunter, endowed with a great sense of smell and outstanding trainability. History of the breed. Survived as one of the oldest European breeds, its history goes back at least 1,000 years. She appeared long ago, together with the Magyars, also known as the Hungarians. The word Vizsla itself is translated from Hungarian as search, find. The ancient Magyars belonged to the Finnish tribes and lived somewhere in Eastern Europe. In 896, they conquered the Middle Danube affluence. It is believed that four breeds appeared with them. Vizsla, Kuvas, Commander and Bullets. The first information about the breed can be found on the stones, where the chiefs on the falconry are depicted along with their dogs. These dogs are very similar to modern Vizsas. For the Magyar tribes, life in Europe was not easy. The main source of meat was falconry, in which dogs were also used. The dog found the bird by smell, pointed at it to the hunter, and he released the falcon. The trained falcon killed the prey and brought it to its owner. This method was used in the steppe for a long time, until firearms appeared. It is very likely that the Magyars crossed their dogs with aboriginal breeds. There is no evidence for this, but it is similar to other breeds of Central Europe, including the Transylvanian Hound. The first mention of the name of the breed occurs in 1350, as the city is called, on the Danube. However, it is unclear whether the city is named after a dog or a dog after the city. But the Vienna Chronicles, describing the life of the Magyars and published between 1342 and 1382, contains a chapter on falconry and contains images of dogs. The breed is mentioned before the Turkish occupation in 1526. Together with the Turks, a dog known as the Golden Pointer enters the country. It is crossed with Vizsla, which gives it a unique color. Descriptions from that time almost always mention color along with hunting prowess. In the end, the long-standing ties of this breed with an ability were legalized, and only those who were of noble blood could breed them. These dogs were given to royalty, and only a small number of nobles outside Hungary received them. Unlike most dogs of that time, the Vizsla was highly prized and allowed to sleep in the house. She was not only a hunter, but also a member of the family. Although the main prey for her were birds, she could work on other animals, from a hare to a bear. Another feature of the breed was that it was appreciated for its exterior. While other dogs were extremely diverse in appearance, the Vizsla formed a unique appearance, a purebred breed. In the 17th century, German and English hunting dogs came to Hungary, they quickly became popular. The demand for aboriginal dogs is falling, and the survival rate is getting smaller and smaller. By the end of the century, there are very few purebreds, and breeders begin work to restore the breed. With a high degree of probability, they breed dogs with a German pointer, an English pointer, and possibly an Irish setter. The First World War dramatically reduces the population, but again the breeders say that. Since 1920, the practice of docking the tail has become fashionable, so that the dog does not injure him on the hunt. In 1930, several breeders decided to create a dog better suited to hunting in bush and damp climates. They crossbreed the Vizsla and the Drathara, and the result is a wire-haired Vizsla, which is considered a separate breed. During World War II, Hungary was occupied by Germany and then by the USSR. The fighting is practically destroying the native breeds. They suffer from hunger, bombing, they are not bred. After its completion, several hundred survivors remain, not only in Hungary, but also in other countries. The breed would have completely disappeared if not for the Hungarian emigrants and American soldiers. Those Hungarians who were able to emigrate took their dogs with them, creating kennels in countries that did not know about the breed before. In addition, American soldiers returning from the war carried the puppies with them. It was the popularity in America that played a decisive role in the restoration of the breed. Unfortunately, most canine organizations at the time required at least three generations before a breed was recognized. Because of this, most dogs keep herd books from 1945-1950, while the breed itself is not less than 1,000 years old, 500 of which it is purebred. In 1960, there were over 500 registered dogs, spanning at least three generations, born in the United States. This year the breed is recognized by the American Kennel Club. In 1984, the United Kennel Club joins it. Since its arrival in the United States, the breed has grown to become the most versatile hunting dog. They are able to hunt any game in almost any conditions, even in the forest, even in the steppe. In addition, she is smart good-natured and gaining fans faster than any other breed. They not only work great, but they are also very beautiful. The popularity of the breed is growing all over the world, it goes from the brink of survival to the top of popularity. So, in 2018, according to the number of dogs registered in the AKC, the Vizsla took 41st place, among 167 breeds. Description. Often confused with the Rhodesian Ridgeback or Vermeraner, as they are more common. This is a versatile hunting dog, and everything in its appearance speaks of athleticism. This is a medium-sized dog. 
Males at the withers reach 58-64 cm, females 54-60 cm. The breed standard does not describe the ideal weight, but usually it is 20-30 kg. These are skinny dogs, especially in their youth. Some are so skinny that the casual person will think of exhaustion, but they are not. Despite her thinness, she was muscular and athletic. Her tail is traditionally docked at one-third the length, but this practice is out of fashion and even banned. The muzzle and head are graceful and dry, as befits a breed that has a history of hundreds of years of purebred breeding. The muzzle is rather long and of a square type. The lips are dense and hide the teeth. The eyes are medium in size. The characteristic feature of the bisla is the color of the nose, by which it can be distinguished from other breeds. It must be brown and match the color of the dog, any deviation will lead to disqualification. Another feature as well. It should be short, smooth and dense with no undercoat. Bisla can be of only one color reddish golden. A small white spot on the chest and small spots on the feet are allowed, but these are undesirable. Any traces of black in the color of the Vizsla are prohibited, including on the paw pads, dark brown or reddish tones are highly undesirable. In the wire-haired Vizsla, the hair is thick, hard, close to the body. Character. Both varieties have a similar character. Despite being predominantly hunting dogs, they have always been part of the family. As a result, their character is similar to that of companion dogs, and the modern Vizsla is a great companion. This is a dog that wants to be with the owner 100% of the time. These dogs tend to suffer from loneliness and should not be left without company for a long time. They form an incredibly close relationship with their owner and are one of the most loyal dogs of all hunting breeds. However, they are the same with strangers, every Vizsla they meet is a potential friend and wants to make acquaintance with him. They are completely unsuitable for the role of watchman as they will happily meet the thief, wagging their tail. They can be taught to give voice this dog suffers from immoderate joy and will jump on the owner's chest, trying to lick his face when they meet. On the other hand, they are very good with children. Moreover, they adore children, as they are always ready to play with them. When trained properly, they are very gentle and patient and can be excellent therapy dogs. At the same time, all the Vizsla, returning from the hunt, become adored family members, and their character is ideal. They get along well with other dogs as well. Although they are able to work independently, the pack does not interfere with them. They can live alone, but most dogs are happy to have another with them. Dominance, jealousy, territoriality are not typical for the breed. Both breeds get along well with other animals, which is surprising for hunting dogs. Their task is simply to find and bring, not to attack. They calmly get along with cats, except that they try to play with them. Which cats don't really like. Well, some can attack small animals, such as guinea pigs or hamsters. They are very intelligent and flexible dogs. They cannot handle only very specific tasks, such as shepherds or sentry work. Visually regularly win the most prestigious obedience and agility competitions, work as guide dogs and search dogs. There are exceptions, but most Vizsla are happy to please their master, they are sensitive and gladly respond to training based on positive reinforcement. She teaches simple tricks very quickly, those who want to teach complex ones will not experience any special difficulties. Despite the fact that it is very easy to train and loves people, this dog is not suitable for every family. She has very, very high demands on activity. She requires more work than other breeds, competing in this with such champions as herding dogs, terriers and greyhounds. You need an hour of stress every day to stay happy, but even more is better. Almost all behavioral problems in this breed arise from lack of physical activity. It seems that her energy is inexhaustible, she is able to work for hours without getting tired. On the other hand, this athleticism will make her desirable for active families. Moreover, she is able to share anything, even cycling, even skiing. If you love kayaking, then there is a place for her. She loves water and swimming, due to its size does not require much space, and her short coat is easy to clean. If you need a dog that is easy and simple to travel and play sports with, then you've found your breed. But, if you do not want or cannot devote 10-15 hours a week, then you need to think about another breed. This can behave badly, but often the reason for this behavior is boredom and unspent energy. She is constantly looking for something to do and if the owner does not find something to do, she will find it herself. However, it can be very destructive and destroy a room completely in a short time. Long walks are good, but she needs a job. And the owner had better teach her something to keep the dog busy. One of the most common problems for the breed is the fear of thunderstorms. It can be so strong that it disfigures the psyche of a dog. Since it is extremely difficult to correct this fear, it is important to prevent its development at the first sign. Price and how to buy correctly. The first step towards a healthy dog is finding a specialized kennel. Private breeders offer a lower cost, but at the same time they do not guarantee the good health and balanced psyche of the Hungarian Vizsla. The next stage is a conversation with the breeder. Ask him to shed some light on the nuances. Parent titles and awards, conditions of keeping the puppy, vaccinations received, diet. 
your task is to get as much information as possible about your future four-legged friend. Express your desire to communicate with the dog and the female. This will help to identify possible defects of the baby. If a breeder shies away from a direct answer, he has something to hide. To avoid the risk, it is worth contacting another nursery. Now you can start exploring the litter. Healthy puppies are characterized by being overly active and curious about their surroundings. If your baby's instincts are important to you, give him a little test. Tie a game wing to the fishing rod and lower it into the aviary. At the sight of prey, a Hungarian Vizsla puppy will stand up, and this is a sure sign that you will acquire a great hunter. Take a close look at the candidates to be your friend. A kid with good health is moderately well-fed, clean, does not lame and is playful toward you. Use a medium-sized puppy with no noticeable defects. Be prepared for your baby's appearance to change with age. For greater confidence in the compliance of the breed standard, it is worthwhile to stop at adult dogs. The sex of the Hungarian Vizsla is an equally important selection criterion. Females are distinguished by a more docile and friendly character, as opposed to males independent, wayward and inclined to challenge the owner's leadership. At the same time, females often create additional problems during estrus, which can result in unwanted pregnancy. Most often, puppies are put up for sale at 1.52 months. At this age, babies have already learned to eat on their own, have acquired the skills of primary socialization, have grown strong enough, and are ready for a new life without maternal care. Buying a young Visley will result in many problems, including an unstable psyche and weakened immunity. The price of Hungarian pointing puppies is determined by several factors. The location and popularity of the nursery, dog class for participation in exhibitions, breeding or keeping as a pet, characteristics of the animal, including compliance with a breed standard, awards and titles of parents. The average cost of a Hungarian Vizsla varies from 209 to 700 US dollars. Dogs with an elite pedigree can cost their owners more impressive sums, and animals with defects cost less. Poultry immigrants are attracted by a low price, but there is a high risk of buying a non-purebred dog with weakened immunity. You shouldn't spare money for your future companion, because the joyful moments that communication with the Hungarian Vizsla will give are priceless.